Hi, my name is James. Welcome to King's Fine Woodworking. I want to show you our Adirondack chair design, how to build it, and how to make money building these chairs. These things are extremely popular. In fact, in the year since they have been out, we have sent plans to 41 different countries on six different continents. And I've had hundreds of people email me back and tell me how they're, they're doing selling them, uh, whether it's uh, making them for their own family or building them to sell them. Uh, people are having a lot of success with it. And I wanted to talk about some of those points today. I have some viewers in Texas, Colorado, Maryland, and actually a few other states where they have these chairs, they're selling them, and, and these, uh, at least three or four people that I know of are completely booked for the remainder of the year uh, just building these chairs. What's really cool about this project is that it can be built with a bare minimum of tools. You can get set up with just a used jigsaw, circular saw, and a drill, and that's all you need to build the whole chair. And what a lot of woodworkers are doing is they're outfitting their whole shop with tools just by selling these. It's kind of a great way to, to get into the business of woodworking. Uh, you start selling, marketing and selling these chairs and you sell two or three chairs and you can buy a bandsaw with the profits. You sell three or four more chairs and you could even buy a CNC machine. So it's a great way to really build up your tool inventory. And every time you do that, you're just building chairs faster and faster because the tools allow increased speed. Here are some of the chairs that our viewers have built, and uh, a lot of them have successfully marketed and sold a considerable number of these chairs. And I want to let you know that down in the description below, I have a link to the plans for all the different chairs that we make. Uh, the rocking chair, the regular Adirondack chair, the kid size Adirondack chair, our Adirondack outdoor coffee table and end table. And I'll put links to all of the videos on how we build each of these things uh, individually. I've got a separate video for every single project that there is. And if you like our content and you watch our channel, I would really appreciate it if you took a moment to click that subscribe button and hit that notification bell so you get notified when we have videos coming out in the future. I also give individualized help to all of our Patreon supporters. Anybody who supports us on Patreon, you can, you can message me anytime. I'll call you back or email you back and help you with business questions, woodworking questions, whatever you need. And the reason I'm focused so much on Adirondack chairs is over the years, I've done a lot of woodworking. We started woodworking back in the late 80s. Um, my father-in-law actually showed me how to do woodworking. And eventually, I just started building things and selling them. And the most popular thing that I ever sold was outdoor furniture. And amongst the outdoor furniture things that I sold, the most popular stuff by far were Adirondack chairs. I've probably built and sold over a thousand of these in my lifetime. And in fact, I paid my way entirely through college while supporting my family, building and selling outdoor furniture. And the majority of it was these chairs. The funny thing is back then, I didn't have the ability to design. I didn't have a design program and it never even occurred to me that I could design my own chairs. And so I bought several different plans for different chairs and, and certain ones sold better than others. The one that's, ones that looked neater or the ones that were more comfortable certainly sold a lot better. And I just had the idea a couple of years ago that maybe I could just design my own and maybe make it better and more comfortable than any other chair that's out there. So I started by thinking what I don't like about Adirondack chairs. And one of the things I didn't like is the fact that they're big and cumbersome and, and they're kind of difficult to move. It's hard to pick them up because of their size and they're usually pretty heavy because they have a lot of wood in them. And that problem was really easy to solve by integrating wheels into the back legs. Another thing that I didn't like is that they sit very, very low. And I, my father-in-law, my mother-in-law, and my mom, and, and several of our relatives, older people, they couldn't get in and out of the chairs very easily, and it just wasn't a comfortable sitting experience for them. So we designed this so it sits a little bit higher. It's a little bit more comfortable, and the armrests are a tiny bit lower, and it actually makes it much easier to get in and out of the chair. I also found that a lot of the Adirondack chairs were very, very narrow at the back. And there were, for a bigger person like me, it was a little bit tight, a little bit uncomfortable, and I didn't like that much. And so we designed this chair to be a little bit wider, and it actually will fit a person who's really pretty hefty, 
Um, the chair could easily will carry a thousand pounds, but it would easily have maybe a five or six hundred pound person in it comfortably, and yet it's not uncomfortable for a small, thin person. We probably went through 10 or 12 prototypes, and I had all of my friends try it at each of these different prototype stages, and the way the design sits currently, it really doesn't matter if you're a big person or a small person, everybody's really very comfortable in the chair as it is. Probably the last and most important factor for me was that on the weekends we had a lot of barbecues. We'd have people over and we'd sit outside all day long. And sitting in some of these chairs, like the one that I really loved a lot, or probably the best, was the uh, New Yankee Workshop chair that was built by Norm Abram. But if you sit in that chair for three or four hours, it's really fairly uncomfortable. There's the, the back is straight, the seat has a small curve to it, and it, just sitting on a hard wooden surface that has no contours really kind of gets uncomfortable after a while. So I knew this chair had to have compound curves. I knew the main shape of the back had to be almost barrel shaped, it's had, it had to curve around the circle of the back, and then I knew it had to also jut out down low for uh, arch support. Uh, for your lower back and it had to, to to move back away from that so it had to have curves in multiple different directions at the same time the problem is doing that oftentimes makes a project really difficult to build so we spent a lot of time with the different design elements and how the individual pieces were going to be fabricated so that building it and assembling it would not be difficult at all. And I think we came up with a pretty elegant solution. This is a project that even a beginner can build, someone with almost no woodworking experience. And after selling hundreds of these plans, maybe a thousand of these plans, and getting tremendous feedback, everybody loves it. People who've never touched any woodworking tools before are capable of building it. And it's just a fantastic beginner project. Well, with all that being said, my primary focus in doing this entire thing was to be able to come up with a project that our viewers could take and build and sell and make money with. And that was that was really the whole purpose of this chair. We want something that looks elegant, that sits very comfortably, that's not hard to build, and is kind of unique in the market. There isn't anything out there that's quite like this. And that was the purpose behind this, and hopefully you guys out there are able to do this, make some money, and get a wood shop going with it. So this chair is essentially a response to the most commonly asked set of questions that I have gotten since we started our YouTube channel five years ago. I've probably been asked 10,000 times, how do I make money woodworking? What's the best thing to sell? What's a project that can sell for a lot of money but isn't too hard to build? What's a project that a lot of people would be interested in having? And the answer to all of those questions is outdoor furniture, specifically outdoor furniture that's centered around a set of chairs like an Adirondack chair. Now I built mine out of redwood and cedar, this particular chair at least for the video, but you can build them out of a great many different types of wood. Cedar now of course is pretty expensive, but you can build them out of cedar, you can build them out of redwood, you can build them out of pressure treated lumber. All of these are different types of lumber that you can get at the big box store. If that's not available, you can get southern yellow pine or Douglas fir. Basically, the regular dimensional lumber that you see at the store, you'll just need to either paint them or put a really good quality oil finish on them so that they last outdoors. If you want to do a more elegant or upscale project, you could build these from white oak. You could build them from a lot of decking materials like mahogany or Brazilian ipe. Those work wonderful uh, outdoors as well. So there's a lot of options. If you have a lot of money or a very high in clientele, you can even build these out of teak. We also designed it so that you can build this out of lumber of virtually any thickness. Uh, you can use three quarter inch lumber, which is actually four quarter stock, but once it's planed down, it's about three quarters of an inch thick. That's what a lot of white oaks are. And the, the, so the, there's one exception, the back pieces do have to be cut from stock that's one and a half inches thick. So if you're using a hardwood, you could just, if you can't get wood that's that thick, you could just glue up two thinner pieces for just the back. But every other piece in the entire chair can be built of wood that's say inch and a half thick or inch and a quarter thick or one inch thick or three quarters inch thick and it doesn't change the plans it doesn't change anything at all the whole chair goes together exactly the same way it's all identical and that's kind of the convenient thing here you can choose whatever lumber that you can get whatever the thickness is it'll work fine only the back has to be inch and a half everything else is variable you just can make it out of whatever stock you can get 
We also have plans on the website, not only for the regular Adirondack chair, but the Adirondack rocking chair and the Adirondack kids chair. We're also putting together an Adirondack kid-sized rocking chair, and there's also a set of outdoor tables that's available on the website. I have videos for every one of these showing detailed step-by-step -step exactly how to build them, and the plans also include all the dimensions and everything that you need to put them together. So let's talk about money. We sell the basic Adirondack chair for between 450 and 500. That's if it's cedar or redwood. And at the 450 price is generally a basic chair. 500 is if I engrave the name on the front rail of the chair, the front cross, uh, cross piece. And that, that price is going to vary depending on your neighborhood, you know, what part of the, the state you're in, uh, the, the city that, that you live in, things like that. But it's going to be pretty similar everywhere. I would say plus or minus 10 or 15%. Not much difference. Uh, I usually give a discount of 50 bucks per chair if somebody buys a set of four or more. So if I'm selling these for, say, $450 a chair, if somebody buys four of them, I'll drop the price to $400 a chair so they can have a set of four for $1,600. If I was to build these out of pressure-treated or regular pine or Douglas fir or uh, southern yellow pine, something like that, I would probably drop my price to about $350, maybe $375 per chair. And I would do the same thing, knock $50 bucks off each chair if they were to buy a set of four or more. So let's talk about marketing a little bit. Obviously not everybody can afford a $500 chair. In fact, the neighborhood that I live in, that's not really affordable either. Fortunately, there's no shortage of people who can afford a product like this. Your job is simply to find them. Luckily, when you have a good product, and I think this is a very good product, it tends to sell itself. The key is you have to get into the right neighborhoods or, got, or get hooked up with the right people to begin with. I have a cousin who builds decks for a living. He builds really high-end decks. Some of them are $50,000, $60,000 and up even. And he always carries a few pictures of some of my chairs with him. And a lot of the business that we've gotten, we've gotten from people like that. After the deck is built, he'll say, hey, are you guys interested in any outdoor furniture for these? You know, my cousin sells chairs. He shows him a picture. And quite often we get a sale from something like that. That gets our foot in the door. And from there, their friends and neighbors see it. And the sales usually take off. Hooking up with a real estate agent is also a good way to get your foot in the door somewhere. And we've also had a lot of success putting ads out on Craigslist or in Facebook Marketplace. Sooner or later, somebody will call you who doesn't find a problem with the price. And once you get your foot in the door with a person like that, here again, they're friends and neighbors. Usually once they see the product, they love it. They'll ask them about it. And you can just continue to make sales that way. The vast majority of all of our business has always been spread by word of mouth. My recommendation is you get the plans, you build a chair or two for your family that gives you practice and experience in putting them together because once you start, your, your very first chair is going to be slow, but every chair you build after that, you're going to get faster and faster and your product quality is going to get better and better. So you start by building a couple of chairs for yourself, then maybe build a couple for friends and family, and then you start marketing them. You take some photos of your very best chair and that's what you're going to get out there and advertise with. Okay, so I'm going to put several links in the description below. I'm going to put links to all of the individual chairs that we make, uh, the detailed video on how to do it, how to do it, uh, one for the uh, tables as well. I will also put a uh, link to the plans for each of the different items for you to take a look at. And do me a favor if you would. If you like this type of content where I can go over a video and I can kind of explain to you what I do, how I market it, how I make, you know, try to make money uh, selling things like this, um, things I've had successes and failures at, and stuff like that, let me know in the comments below and I'll keep that up. Thanks for watching.